everyone. So today I got a video for you. I'm going to be utilizing my Stonex Cubay and I'm going to be taking a job that was set up uh, with Trimble and we're going to dump that stuff into Cubay and set up our site and uh, go to utilize the Stonex stuff to, to work out here. So what I got here is I've just got in this folder I've got a TTM, DXF, and my JXL. So currently I'm not using a cow file or anything. We gotta get that JXL. Um, so that can be a little difficult if you don't have business center. Um, maybe it'll spit that out of something else. But um, so all I'm gonna do is just take, copy these onto my thumb drive. Now the thumb drive for Cubay that when you first put it in it'll want you to format it and this is the format it puts it in i just put everything in this download folder so now i got that in there i'm just gonna spit my thumb drive out here so i've just got regular usb drive um pair this up on the video to make it easier to see um but first thing i gotta go do is create a project the name of this project is Jackson Road. So next, um, we got to pick a coordinate system. There's probably a better way to do this, but I haven't messed with it enough to really put in a localization in there to figure out. So I typically just when I do it, I start everything Missouri West. So now I got a project created. It says Jackson Road up at the top. Um, but if I go in here to my survey, you can see I don't have anything in here. Um, so what I'm going to do first, what I like to do first, is if I go to my import data, I'm going to bring my DXF in. So if I just go to SD card, do my downloads, there's my Jackson Road Industrial right there. So if I just hit import, we'll see here. So, and then I hit import again, it's asking where I want to put it. Um, so this defaults to meters on here, change it to US feet, and then the entity filter, um, we've been working on that a little bit. I typically just, I don't want any of the Texas points or anything, I'll do polylines and points. Import. And let this load up here. I'm going to open my door. It's warm in here. It's time of year to freezing in the morning and sweating by lunchtime. It's getting loaded up. This does have a fair amount of line detail in it. Okay. Now if we go over here. Now we've got our line work in there, and it brought in, oh, it brought in our uh, utilities as points, okay? So then I can also go to height stakeout, which is going to be our surface, and this is where we're going to bring our surface in, so I can do import from SD card, download, oops. Download, go to SD card, download. Oh, because it's looking for a CFG. There we go. Helps if you hit the right buttons. Um, so I want to add a triangulation file. Now, if I go to my SD card, now I've got my TTM I can bring in here. Hit import, US feet. So now you could have all your different surfaces listed in here. We've got a couple settings up here. You can set your cut fill light bar. I usually do a tenth. And then I don't want to draw sides of triangles and I don't want to fill the active triangles. I can toggle that back on so you can see. But So now we have our surface in there. And then last but not least, um, if we go to calibrate, site calibration, we can do import. You can see I can use a COT, an LOC, a JXL, or a text. I think that's all, or a CSV. 
Um, so if I got an SD card, same thing. I bring my JXL in. So this brings in my points. Um, one thing I will say, if you have any points that you're not utilizing, it everything's on by default. So you'll do have to know what points were used or not used. And I believe, I think we potentially we didn't use the vertical. I think it was on 202, but for the purpose of what we're doing, it's not going to matter. We're going to hit calculate. It's going to calculate. All, and then this is where you can check all your residual values. Yep, it was 202, the vertical, I think got shut off on that one. Which you can still come back here and do and hit edit. Turn the vertical off, hit calculate. And it'll still show, but there you go. So once we do that, we hit apply. Okay, it asks for a localization name, so you can reference it later. So now we have our surface applied, our line work applied. We've got our layers here, you can see everything's in here. So now we've got that in and we we'll, uh, can set up the base. Uh, one thing to take into account is your JXL does not contain, if you set your site up and, um, and uh, save a base location, it does not contain that information, so you'd have to add that separately. I'm just going to set up a tripod on a control point because um, the base pole has been removed on this job and don't have it anymore, so we'll just set up on a on a point that I know is good and uh, we can go from there but yeah that's the one thing is you would have to you just go to your points list and you can just add you know your base pole and you just add it in as a you can do a local coordinate or a geodetic coordinate so that's just something to take into account um, if you have a CSV it'll bring it in but whether you bring it in as a CSV or a JXL um, you will still have to do the horizontal and verticals you know what you got turned on and off so yeah that's what it, that's really all it takes to get your files in um i made it look a little harder than it was because i hit the wrong buttons a couple times but that happens um so i'll just show you why we got this on here why not um what this is going to look like so we, th this is kind of handy you got a demo mode that you can do so it's just connecting to and then we'll start uh, the base on we'll just say it's on 212 How about that? so now we're fixed and so it shows us over there turn off our feet here so we can move around and then I can I'll move us over here onto the design so now it's just simulating you know it's just a simulator mode but it's kind of nice if you want to check some stuff